hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Yes, it's been a while. Just, I don't know, I think I've been a, a bit under the weather mentally and just haven't really felt like making a video, uh, which is why I kind of missed out on making a video for the Leeds Malou signing. Um, but I'm back. I, I think it's because I was in isolation as well, which is a bit... Being stuck in the same four walls all day does kind of get to you. Um, I can't lie. Um, but we are back. Um... And yeah, there's been a bit of news since the last film of video. Let's just put it that way. The kit's been released. The kit is beautiful, by the way, may I add. It is the 10 out of 10 kit that I've been wanting Norwich City to have, and we've finally got it. Uh, yes, I'm sat in my car while recording this. Uh, I'm now off to a barbecue. Um, so for, before I go, we'll film a video. I'm in my car, so we'll film a video. Um, but yeah, so the new kit's come out. New home kit, love it. Joma have done an excellent, excellent job in that. Um, it's got a few mixed reviews. A lot of people, mate, are a bit against it but at the same time i absolutely love the new kit i think it's fantastic um yeah i'm a bit huge huge fan um huge fan of it um so yeah uh and obviously the signing of pierre lise malou um the french midfielder is probably my favorite signing this window so far i'm a huge huge fan of lise malou um i can see him doing very very well for us um i haven't really seen a lot of him outside of um well, I've seen a bit of him here and there before he joined Norwich for Nice. Um, but yeah, now that he signed for us for the fee that he signed for, it was very cheap. You know, five point five point one million, I think it was. I'm really, really excited to uh, to see him play. Um, definitely, really excited to see him play. Um, See, so yeah, obviously, he signed. Um, yeah, he's he's wearing a number twenty shirt. He's be starting hopefully alongside Gilmore in that midfield. Obviously, I said. I love McLean to pieces, but he's not good enough for the Premier League. Lise Malou is that player to take over. Um, so, yeah, huge fan of Lise Malou. Obviously, scored um, remarkably in our preseason friendly versus Lincoln. I think he only uh, completed all the paperwork and all, all the other business that goes into a transfer um, about 15 minutes into the, into the friendly and then came on, I think, as a substitute and obviously scored the winner. It was a great goal as well. If you haven't seen that goal, I'd highly recommend checking it out. Uh, very, very neat finish. Um, from Lees Malou. But yeah, exciting things to come from him. And obviously yesterday, Daniel Farker signed a new contract, which is fantastic. 2025, he'll be staying till. Um, and I think that's the best signing this window for Norwich, actually. Um, keeping someone with such a great philosophy, such an open mind and, you know, how transparent he is with the fans. Yeah, we have to keep him, and we have, and I think that's that's the best signing we've made. This transfer window is is uh, keeping Daniel Farker on a longer contract, and um, obviously the Premier League is coming around soon. Obviously, one of both pre season games, three one against Link Kings Lynn, and one 0 against uh, Lincoln. So hopefully, we will go on into our next um, few pre season games, win them, and then the Premier League is around the corner. Liverpool at home. Um, and the matchday experiences, they'll be back. They'll be back. Obviously, you guys remember when I used to do them on Channel 1902 and Norwich City Central. They will be back. The matchday experiences will be back. I'm looking forward to doing it. I think that's kind of what bummed me a bit. I was in isolation when we uh, when we played Kings Lynn Town. And um, really looking forward to you know, doing my first matchday experience in a long time. Couldn't do it because it was in isolation. Really bummed out about that. But they will be back. Um, hopefully going to Gillingham at home in pre-season as well. So we'll be going there. Obviously, we'll be doing a lot of Y days as well next season. They're always a laugh. Um, but yeah, plenty of things to be excited about with Norwich City this season. Obviously, Gilmore's got his first minutes in a Norwich shirt. Looks class. You know, he's exactly what we expected of him. You know, he's mustard. Um, and uh, Rashitsa, yeah, a good few signs from him, but nothing to, to scream home about yet. But I'm hoping he shows that in the Premier League. Um, but yeah, it's all exciting times for Norwich. And uh, fingers crossed we can get a few more signings over the, over the line uh, leading up to the Premier League season. And... Um, yeah, hopefully stay up. And I'm really, really looking forward to it now. We're, you know, back to normal, back to normality, near enough. few restrictions in place, obviously, but that was always going to happen. But, you know, full, full attendance at football grounds is uh, it's something I've been dreaming of since the last time I was at Cairo, which is, the I think, the 28th of February 2020. So it's been a long, long time since I've been at Cairo Road. Um, and I cannot wait, cannot wait to get back there. Um, but yeah, guys, if you have enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any more videos. And uh, yeah, I shall see you next time and hopefully it won't be as long.